They finally found the supposedly tomb of Christ and they opened it first time in 500 years. What they found was really shocking. Is it from God? April 2023, the Vatican Library exposes a shocking discovery, missing fragments of scripture specifically from Matthew 12. What is the agenda in exposing these scriptures now? What does the prophet Isaiah mean when he said that Satan wants to sit at the farthest sides of the north? Is the book of Enoch, the gospel of Barnabas, and other Gnostic gospels, is it from God? Welcome to Truth in Bible Prophecy. Thank you friends for supporting this ministry. Kindly like this video and share to all of our friends. Isaiah 14 verse 13 For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. What is the farthest sides of the north? Why does Satan wants to sit and rule over it? Scientists uncovered the scripture. After applying UV light to a manuscript about ancient Christian stories and hymns housed at the Vatican Library, the text left traces detectable by UV light. In the Greek version of Matthew chapter 12 verse 1 reads, At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath and his disciples became hungry and began to pick the heads of grain, rub them in their hands and eat them. Them. It was discovered in the Vatican, the same Vatican who says that the Big Bang Theory is real and they are now exposing Matthew 12. But the question is why? What is the agenda behind this expose? They said that these are just fragments, meaning they will be presenting more discoveries. We will answer this shortly. Another discovery is about the true tomb of Jesus. According to historical records, Constantine I sent an ambassador to Jerusalem in the year 325 AD to find the tomb of Jesus of Nazareth. According to reports, his emissaries were informed that Jesus' final resting place was beneath a pagan temple dedicated to Venus. They discovered a tomb carved out of a limestone cave. Constantine then gave the order to construct a magnificent church there that is today known as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Lifting the tube's marble lid for the first time in 500 years, researchers discovered the limestone shelf where Jesus' body was thought to have been placed. Many are fascinated with this and they also discovered a mysterious book called the Gospel of Barnabas discovered in Turkey. And in the Gospel of Barnabas, it states that Christ was never crucified. It reads instead that he rose to heaven while alive and Judas was the one crucified instead. The book also calls the Apostle Paul the imposter. The Gospel of Barnabas, the Gospel of Enoch, the Gospel of Judas, and other non-canonical Gnostic Gospels will be used by the devil to persuade people that the Bible cannot be trusted and that the Bible is very incomplete. Notice that these writings the Gospel of Barnabas, Gospel of Judas, they are very disconnected with the Messianic prophecies in the Old Testament. Question, why does the Catholic Bible have 73 books, also known as the Apocrypha, instead of 66? Which is correct, 73 or 66? Answer can be found in the sanctuary. You will notice that the position of the furnitures forms a cross. The Bible specifically tells us that Satan wants to rule over the sides of the north. The sides of the north in the sanctuary is the table of showbread, which represents the word of God. And how many bread do we find here? Six on the left and six on the right, which reads 66. Combining them, representing the 66 inspired books of the Bible, not 73. These books are only written to counter Martin Luther's conclusion that Catholic doctrines are unbiblical, so the Catholic Church manufactured additions. The other side of the north is the menorah, the seven-branch candlestick. Satan through Rome hid the Bible for 1,260 years, the Dark Ages. The prophecy of the two witnesses of Revelation 11 and in the final days, Satan will back up his deception using wrong interpretation of scriptures. Of all the chapters and verses in the Bible, why did they start exposing Matthew 12? Answer, it is because the issue there is the Sabbath. 
It is the only chapter in the entire Bible that mentions the Sabbath eight times. The purpose here is to change the understanding of God's seventh-day Sabbath to the Sunday, the first day of the week. Here are the top five scriptures that Satan will counterfeit. Then comes the mark of the beast. Number one, Genesis 1 verse 26. Then God said, Oh, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over birds of the heaven and over the livestock and over all earth and over every keeping thing that creeps on the earth. God sets up his image and this image is Christ. Colossians 1 verse 15. But Satan will set up his own image. Revelation 13 verse 15. The image of the Antichrist beast. And instead of man having dominion over the beast, the Antichrist beast will have dominion over man. Number 2. Isaiah 66 verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord. Just as God will gather his remnant people to worship on the Sabbath, on the new earth, Satan will also gather his people with the mark of the beast to worship him on his counterfeit Sabbath Sunday on the old earth, which will end up in flames when Jesus returns. Number three, Matthew 28, verse 18. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. Satan will counterfeit the Godhead by setting up a counterfeit trinity, the dragon, the antichrist beast, and the false prophets. Apostate Protestantism, Revelation 16, verse 13, the three unclean spirits like frogs that uses their tongues to preach false gospels. Number four, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8, And then shall that the wicked will be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. As Jesus will come in dazzling light and brightness at his second coming, Satan will also come as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14, The devil will appear as Christ performing miracles, and the deception is so great that if possible will deceive even the very elect. Number 5, Revelation 12 verse 7, A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. This represents the bride of Christ, the pure, the true church, rooted in the word of God. Satan will also have a woman clothed in purple and scarlet. Revelation 17, an apostate church rooted in the traditions of man. And her cup of false doctrines will make the nations drunk and spiritually immoral. Friends, how can we measure truth? Answer, Jesus is truth. The law is truth. The Bible is truth. Guided by the Holy Spirit of God, would you like to stand on God's word today, friend? Kindly type in the comment section, I have decided to follow Jesus. Thank you, dear friends. Hold on to what is truth, and that is Jesus Christ. And may we all continue to seek truth in Bible prophecy.